Hey everyone, Daniel from bloghoarder.com here. Today we're going to make a combat tank fighting game slash uh, like space asteroids space game you could convert it to. But uh, for this example I'm just going to use an army tank and make like a tank fighting game. Uh, so let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is create the tank. And when I say create I mean upload one. So there's our tank. We're going to go into its behaviors. And now we're just going to put its uh, movements really quick with uh, its four keyboards. And then uh, mouse move. And that mouse move has a point at as well. Let's really quickly connect the uh, mouse. X to X, Y to Y. Okay, let's program these keys. So, W repeating, S repeating, A repeating, and D repeating. Now what we're going to do is get some numbers. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, we just need a uh, velocity. So we'll put this to a positive 10. Sorry, a, a negative 10 for the W. Positive, t leave that as a zero. Then a positive 10 and then negative 10, 0, positive 10. And the 10 change to whatever you want for whatever speed uh, you would prefer. Just test it out with a 10 though. So W, when that is down, we're going to get a negative 10 to the Y axis. And then when it's up, it'll be a 0, also to the Y. And then the S, which will be down, down movement, that'll be positive 10. And then when it's up, will be zero. Okay, and now we'll do the same with the left and right. So A is left. Uh, now we need it to shoot. We need to shoot. But this should be the movement. Let's test out the movement really quick. So that's not working. The movement's working, but the mouse is not. It's not pointing right at the mouse. Let's see why. Oh, okay, that's why. Uh, I forgot to go into its properties. I'm got to enable collisions for later. Solid is movable. It's not affected by gravity, but its forward direction needs to be up. I forgot about that. So now when we play it, now it works. Okay. So the movement is good on the tank. Points to where the mouse is pointing. So again, like use this for a space game if you want it or something like that. But. Uh, we need it to shoot. So let's get it to shoot. Uh, we need to create something for it to shoot. A shell. Uh, create one, draw one, or find one from an asset uh, website. There's a lot of great asset websites out there. You can get free 2D assets that you can use for commercial use. Um, yeah, just leave in the comments if you want me to describe some or something like that but um there's a lot just google free assets free 2d assets for commercial use if or if you're just making a game for yourself i'll just shut up 
But anyways, gonna upload one. Now I can go into its physics. And now I'll just edit its behavior. So when this one collides with anything, we want it to be destroyed. So collision with anything, uh, components destroyer, and then just leave it like that. Now we're going to go back into the tank and we're going to get it to emit the shell when you click down. So we need a mouse click as the trigger and then an emit. Where is that? I always forget where things are. There it is. So when you go down it will emit the shell, rotate object, don't expire, emit 475 and that should work but we need a sound effect because tanks aren't quiet are they so it'll need an explosion when we fire it I don't know why I'm so picky <laughs> doesn't really matter does it Okay. Um, I'll just put a few blocks in. Just random blocks. And um, this block needs to. Um, this block needs to. I guess be destroyed when a shell hits it so um, collision with a shell will destroy it oh I was wondering why that wasn't working okay um, here's what I forgot. On the mouse click, capture clicks anywhere. Otherwise, you would have I would have had to be over the tank in order to, to make it shoot. Maybe that's something you want in your game. So, if you want to have to have the mouse over whatever uh, vehicle or weapon you're using to shoot, use um, keep that unclicked. But if you want to be able to shoot anywhere and capture clicks anywhere, make sure that's uh, clicked off. Okay, well there you have it. There's a tank fighting game or whatever you want. So let's take a quick look at the behaviors again really quickly for you. And there we have it. The mouse move, the point at, the WSADs with the numbers into the velocity and then we have the mouse click emitter with the sound effect. And there you have it. So I will see you on the next one. Thanks.